Hey, this is Stags, and we're going to show you how to work with our amazing product configurator tool for WordPress. With our product configurator you can allow customers to create products that fit their wants and needs. All they need to do is click on your product, customize it, and collect their item through the checkout process. They can save and share their designs, making it easier to compare products and choose the perfect fit. We will guide you through the process of creating your first configurable product for your WooCommerce store. Let's get into it. You can create your configurable product with three easy steps. We'll start with creating option groups. Option groups are the customizations for your product, such as size, type, colors, and other features. Here we show you an example of what these groups would look like. So, we're selling a sofa with two size options, a two- and three-seater. This is the first option group. Next up, type. Customers can choose either a leather or fabric sofa. This is your second option group. For both leather and fabric, we offer five beautiful colors to choose from. This will be your third option group. Last but not least, we have three different leg features. This is your fourth option group. Now you have a clear overview of the customizations you offer, it's time to create your option groups. Go to WordPress, click Stags and click on Option Groups. You're going to fill in the blanks. Starting with your first option group. Fill in your group name, in this case sofa size. This won't show in your configurator. Your group title will be size, which shows up when customers click on your configurable product. After that you'll create your descriptions. You can add descriptions that show up in the pop-up panel. This gives your customers some more insight into the customization options you offer. Now save and repeat the process for each option group. Add as many groups as you need to and don't overcomplicate your titles and descriptions. Step 2. Create item options for your option groups. For this you'll need to create your option item images first. You can work with either Adobe, Sketch, or Figma. We're using Sketch for now. If want to display option image thumbnails, make sure to create swatches for the option images as well. To create a good quality preview image, make sure all images are aligned with each other. The configurator will automatically stack all the selected images on top of each other, resulting in the final product image. You're going to align the sofa sizes with the different types, colors, and leg features. We're creating a preview image for the beige-colored two-seater sofa item option. Drag and align your item options for leg features and a colored fabric two-seater with the preview image. Now remove the legs, border of the image and fill in color. This leaves you with just one item option. Now select and export with transparent pixels. Transparent pixels need to be in the image, since this is crucial for the configurator to work. 
Repeat for all item options and there you have your main option item images. Go to Stags and click Add New. Here you're going to add your individual option items. First, we are going to add the size and type options for the sofa. When creating option items, it is a best practice to add descriptive option item titles. That makes it easier for you to navigate all the items, especially if you have a lot of them. And the title is only visible to the store owner, so you can make it as long as you want. However, the label is visible for your customers. Next, we are going to add all the color options. In this case a black fabric, two-seater sofa. You select the option group that belongs to the option item, which is two-seater fabric sofa colors. Click on Enable Preview to add the images. Then add the color swatch to thumbnail and your image to main image. Write a short and fitting label, in this case red. Click Publish. Now, click on Add New Item and repeat the process. After adding all the individual item options, you now have a complete overview of all your items. Now we're going to create our first configurable product. Are you ready? Go to Products and click Create Product. Add your product name, in our case we enter Sofa. And add a product feature image. This image is displayed on your shop pages. Add your product description. Make sure the product is set as simple product. Set your standard product price. Then, check the configurator checkbox in the product data section and click on save draft. You can now preview your configurable product. As you can see, there are no configuration steps yet. So we're going to add those as well. Click on Edit Product and start adding the different configuration step types. Click on Add Step and choose the step type you want. We're selecting cards as our first step type for the option group size. For the next step we do the same, only adding type as our option group instead. Our third step we select icons, 
since we have our color swatches set up that will be shown in the configurator. Select your option group. To add conditional rules, we select set conditional logic. We need to only show two cedar fabric sofas in this step type. In our next steps we're going to repeat the process by copying the third step and adding conditional rules for two cedar leather sofas, three cedar fabric sofas and three cedar leather sofas. The last step we add the leg features, which is the fourth option group we've created. We will add two steps, one for the two-seater and one for the three-seater. We add a conditional rule to make sure the legs fit the sofa size. Let's crawl in the skin of your customer. It's time for some shopping. We're going to buy a sofa, but which one? Let's see. We're going with this one. Click add to cart, check your order, and purchase your customized product. It's that easy. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and comment if you have questions. Bye.